happy vlogmas day 17. Today me estoy arreglando un poquito because we actually have a unit meeting that's not during work. It's going to be after, but since for lunch voy a salir, I'm going to go to Target and get something for my friend. I figured, pues, I might as well already, you know, have my makeup done. Estoy tan cansada. Like, today I wanted to work out. I wanted to, like, wake up early, like, before work and get a workout in. Pero no pude. Like, my body's so sore for the 20, from the 20 minute <laughs> workout I did yesterday. How sad, huh? Um, but basically, I want to sleep really late because I was editing. You know, like after I took my final, I didn't start editing right away. I just realized I'm missing my highlight. So, um, ahorita I've been using this. It came in a set that I bought. And I really like this because it has a scent to it, which I know isn't the best thing for your skin. But I'm not going to lie, I do like it. And I do spray a lot. <laughs> like a lot. So, yeah, y me puse esta camisa. It has, like, this really cute, like, um, poof. So, I don't know if you guys have heard of Artist Couture, but I love this highlighter. Like, it's freaking amazing. This is in Illuminati, and it's a diamond glow powder. I freaking love it, you guys. And I want to say I've had this, like, over a year. I want to say I bought it last Christmas. No sé. I'm not 100%. But you guys will be able to see a difference right now. I only grabbed a little bit, but do you see that? I like I can see from across the room. I have a mirror. I can totally see that. The way I put these earrings that I actually got at Ross, and these are actually from Coach. And sometimes you'll find like a few different brands at Ross. No chingues, este oído siempre me. Ooh. Uh, I do you guys have a hard time putting on your earrings? I always do. I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually pierced my ears when I was like 18 for the first time. And then again, they closed. So then again, when I was like 20 or 21. So anytime I don't wear earrings for a few days, this ear always wants to close. So yeah, it's freaking crazy. Um, and the thing is, I don't like sleeping with earrings. So then I take them off and don't put them back in, you know, for days at a time. So yeah, that's a painful experience. Santa, forgive me Cause this year I don't know I just made it a target and I realized that okay the lighting is so bad I don't know if it's the shirt am I not allowed to wear white anymore like oh my god but I realized that I'm wearing like really dark liquid lipstick and me tengo que poner una mascara so ugh, what a fail y les iba a decir I just remembered because I was thinking of like embarrassing um is that lighting better I was thinking of like embarrassing like beauty stories and dude i've never told anyone except when i went to new orleans i told the girls um one time i went to a beauty supply store <laughs> and they had this little um little botecito of like a gel or whatever like it was something sticky and it was for your edges so do you guys know what edges are edges are this right like like you like would brush them down if you want but in my head, I'm like, edges, oh, like the edges of your hair. So I was like, I have really curly hair, but my tips are always so dry. So I bought it, and it would be super sticky, almost like glue, and I would put it at the bottom of my tips, and I would be like, my God, this product sucks because it's not, like, keeping them moisturized. Like, it is not helping my, like, my hair but it was for here. Can you guys believe that? It was para aquí arriba. Like you would just brush this down. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't for the bottom of my hair. So yeah, that shit was embarrassing. I never told anyone up until seven, eight months ago in March when we went to New Orleans. Oh, February, my bad. Late February. Dude, memoria. And the girls obviously laughed at me. But I was young. You know, I was 18, 19 years old. I legit didn't know what edges were. Like, I swear to God, I did not know. Nadie me dijo, you know? Like, I just didn't know. It was when I had first started watching YouTube. So, 
you guys i was a hot mess <laughs> It's leaking, so I should probably go get a plate. But um, I think I'm gonna get gift cards for the stockings and the panda gift cards. They had little snowmen, and ah, oh, they were adorable. If I end up getting those, I'll show them to you guys because it's so tan bonitos. But on the drive back, I was remembering, and I'm like, okay, like let's just tell embarrassing stories, right? And I remember that in college, I was an hermana, shout out, HAU, you know. I remember that a few times that we had club events, whether I was on steering or not, I would help out, right? And so I remember that a few times, it didn't just happen once, a few times, I would fill up my, my like canteen bottle um, with water, right? Because in my opinion, if you're gonna go out there, you should be a responsible bitch and stay hydrated, right? So I would literally take water inside the, 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 the bote, the water bottle. And I remember the, the guy that helped out the bus driver, he would always like, you know, help us count and shit and whatnot. Maybe he was the owner, honestly, me acuerdo. maybe he was the owner of the buses. Also, I have red down here from the mask, but anyways, um, but he would always stare at me every time I would drink. I remember one time it hit me and I'm like, oh, he thinks it's alcohol in the bottle. So he's probably shook at how much I'm drinking, but I, was, I wasn't drinking alcohol. I was drinking water and he would look at me and that one specific time le dije, oh, it's just water. I don't know why people never believe me. Like I rarely lie. And when I do it to my parents, you know, to cover up for something or like make them feel like more comfortable with something in case I'm doing something crazy or ratchet. So when I told them que era when he didn't believe me, I'm like, oh shit, like all these other times he thought, you know, short ass little girl like over here like, downing tequila and not even making a face because I would drink the water. Why would I make a face? It's just water, right? But he thought que había alcohol. Everyone else would have like the plastic bottles filled with alcohol and shit. And I guess he assumed I was doing the same thing, but I was so embarrassed because I was like, oh my God, he thinks I'm a borracha. Like this shit is not, like not it, not it. <laughs> Siempre me ando cayendo de esta cosa. But, um, but um you guys i just got out of a meeting not a meeting it was like a holiday our holiday party for our unit that's why i'm wearing the little reindeer ears i feel like i haven't been wearing them enough we did two truths and one lie and i can't believe that they thought that my lie was the real thing i just said i just talked about tattoos and i was like i see you guys piensan que tienen que tengo tatuajes i guess i guess that means i'm cool but um but yeah anyways les dije que like i once ran over like a ticket booth little house thing at the pool with my dad's troque, which is true, and that I wrestled in high school. And maybe they just weren't trying to offend me by calling me a bad driver with the whole um, driving and dragging a little casita, you know? I wanted to tell another embarrassing story, maybe like two or three more, yeah, okay. Um, but um, just to end it here, and just so that can be the title of the video, when, which wasn't that long ago, I went on a hike with someone, someone who I really liked, not, it was before the pandemic, so I guess it has been a while. And we went on a hike and he slipped and I kept on laughing, but because everything was so wet, just me laughing, I was going like, ha ha ha. My own like body moving like this made me slip. I was standing still, but since I was laughing and shit, like the mud moved, I guess. And um, I slipped and bounced like three times. And it was like in a cartoon where my nalgas just had me go boop, boop, boop. And that was so, so, so embarrassing. Um, the guy still doesn't let me live it down, but that shit was embarrassing. Another one that I think you guys can relate to is I was on a date and I had looked him up on Instagram, right? Um, and he had posted this cologne. So when we were at the drive-ins, mind you, this is a while back. I think I shared it in a past video. We were talking about his cologne. I'm like, yeah, I like the cologne you use. And then he's like, what do you mean I didn't put anything on? I'm like, oh, 
he, so he knew, he knew I went through his Instagram and it was like a super long time ago. And I was like, I, I, and I was so embarrassed because he did bring it up. He's like, I posted that on my Instagram, but like years ago. And I'm like, shit. In my defense, he didn't have that much on Instagram, but it was so, so embarrassing. Mind you, later I came to find out that he was a freaking Trump supporter because he voted for Trump and he like would post it on his Snapchat and stuff. But I had like these rose-colored glasses on where I would be like, no, he's playing, he's doing it for the laughs, like it's funny, but it, like it's not funny, but it kind of is. And this was like a long time ago, right? But... Nah, it, he was for real. Like, he actually legit voted. Like, I thought he had, like, a fake one. And nope, he was for real. He was a racist asshole, Mexican y todo. And he just, I guess because he passed, he felt like he could be racist. I don't know. But, you know, I dodged a bullet there. But it was embarrassing. And I don't know why I'm out of breath. Híjole. I guess what we'll ended there with the embarrassing stories. Like, porque, like, I've had a lot of situations where I've been a hot mess and I've been like, ooh, 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 if I could take it back, probably would, probably would. But anyways, I hope you guys liked today's vlog. It was a really busy day for me, so I apologize for that. I thought after finals, things were going to get a lot easier, pero no, pues todavía hay que trabajar. So I had to balance it out and dropping off a care package for my friend. So I had to, you know, balance all that out and stuff. But I really appreciate you guys watching, and I hope I get to see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 18. Bye-bye. Mwah! Santa, forgive me Cause this year I'm done